Okay, so in this video, we're going to be looking at negative fractional indices. Now, this is one way you need to just follow the same pattern every single time that you do it. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at each of these in turn. But please do stop the video, have a go at each of the questions. So the first one is, is that we've got a minus sign here. And what that basically means is the negative reciprocal. So I'm going to write that as 1 over 64. Okay, then I've got to recognise that 2 over 3 is exactly the same as saying 1 over 3 multiplied by 2. And I can use that fact when I'm dealing with this particular um, index because I can write this as to the power of 1 over 3 and then some nice big square brackets and then square afterwards. Okay, now the reason why it's much easier if I write one over three is because that means the cube root. It's the kind of index equivalent of writing the cube root of something. So I've got the cube root of one, and I've also got the cube root of 64. So I can look at each of those individually, and then when I finish that, I can square each of the terms individually. So let's have a look. Okay, so the cube cube root of 1 is going to be 1, and the cube root of 64 is going to be 4, and then I can just square it. So my final answer is going to be 1 squared is 1, and 4 squared is going to be 16. Now, essentially, that's the way in which we're going to approach each of these individual problems. So let's have a look at question number 2. OK, so it's a negative index. It's going to be 1 over 16. Three quarters is exactly the same as saying one quarter multiplied by three. So therefore, I can write this as to the power of one quarter, which is the same as the fourth root. And then I'm going to cube everything once I've completed it. So the fourth root of one is going to be one again. And the fourth root of 16 is going to be two because two times two times two times two is 16. Okay, and I'm going to then not forget to cube it. So that's going to be one cubed is one and two cubed is eight. Okay, so that is the answer to the second question. Let's have a look at questions three and four, which again, we use exactly the same principle with. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just move this up on the screen a little bit. Okay, and because it's the negative reciprocal, what I've got to do is flip it around the other way. Okay, so I've got 25 over 16. So that's the reciprocal of this. And then I've got 3 over 2. Well, again, it's exactly the same as saying a half multiplied by 3. So I can write this to the power of a half. And then some again, some nice big square brackets and then cube afterwards. OK, so the square root of 25 is going to be 5. The square root of 16 is going to be 4. OK, and then I'm going to cube it. Well, 5 cubed is 125 and 4 cubed is going to be 64. And that would be the answer to question number three. So the final one is question number four. Please do stop the video. Have a go at that particular question. See how you get on. OK, let's have a quick look at that one. So I've got 9 over 4. Again, it's 3 over 2. So that's fine to the power of a half and then cubed at the end. So that's going to give me 9 to the power of a half is going to be the square root of 9 is 3. Square root of 4 is going to be 2. And then I've got to cube those. So I'm going to get 27 over 8. And that would be the answer to that particular question. I hope it's been useful to you. If you're not sure, always add a comment below. Look forward to seeing, to seeing you. I'll, and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.